In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use 360 video within Corral Video Studio. Now, for starters, we can only use MP4 mat. If we use the original 360, which is INSV, there is no codec within Corral Video Studio, so we must convert that. And if you don't know how to convert that, I will teach you that at the end as well. So for now, I already have one in my project and the video is in my timeline. As you can see currently, I only have the left and right side, 180 here, 180 here, and now I need to seam them so I can rotate them to whatever angle I want. To do that, I have to change the aspect ratio. We highlight this icon here, click it once, and over here, most people think this is something to do with the internet. Nope, this is a 360 wireball. We click on it, yes, we want to convert that, and now we have the option here of 360. And then we're going to highlight it until it turns blue, and now I can rotate this video as if it was 360. And I can even play it, that's my preview. <laughs> Sorry about that, it's quite loud, isn't it? But anyway, you didn't get the meaning. Now, what we need to do is change this so we can then start editing it. So to do that, left, sorry, right click, you'll see here 360, we go into 360 video standard, and you see here a quiet rectangular to standard. We click it once, and a new window will pop open, and from here I can start looking the way, or changing the way it looks. That's what I should have said. Now we can go along the timeline, and then we grab this little cursor here or this little square and the minute I drag it it will then form a keyframe so I'm going to rotate it to the point that I can see the other bike in front of me which is here and I'm going to focus on that for a while and I'm going to bring it all the way back to say me here and I'm going to play it again and as you can see it has now added its own keyframes now you may be thinking that the quality is really poor now you need to remember, Corral Video Studio will create a draft version because it's super aggressive on the system. There are two 180 videos playing at the same time, so it has to bring it down to a very low resolution. However, when you render it out, it'll be crisp and sharp, just like the original video. Let's do one more little event. So I'm gonna click it back over here and make it up. Maybe I might even go up a bit and have a just something different. And I'm going to play it. Yeah, that looks good to me. And I'm going to press OK. So now those keyframes have been added. And I can press play. And it is as simple as that. And then we press share. And like I said, what we can do here is we highlight this box here, same as project settings, and just render it out. And it'll be nice and crisp and sharp for you. Let's jump back into Corel Video Studio and I'm going to show you just in case if you want to do Teeny World or Rabbit Hole. Let's uh, put the footage in the timeline. We set it up exactly the same, 360, right click, 360 video. And this time we're going to go into video conversion and we're going to be using spherical panorama right here. And again, it's the same thing. If I want to create the Teeny World, it's already highlighted. It automatically starts off as Teeny World like so. And if I wanted to, I can then almost create that into a rabbit hole halfway through. So it can start off as a teeny world and then it comes along into the rabbit hole and then it goes back into teeny world if that's the thing you're looking for. Or you just keep it teeny world, is up to you. But that is how you do teeny planet and rabbit hole. I'm using an Insta360 camera and 360 cameras come with a free 360 studio. And what we need to do, we need to take this INSV format and convert it into the MP4, which Corel Video Studio can recognize. So I already have a clip here on my timeline. I'm behind my daughter. Yep, that's my daughter, 14 years old, and racing motorcycles. Yep, live dangerously, I say, but do it safely. Okay, first thing we need to do, we must remain in the Media tab. If we go into the Project tab, let's just create a new project for now. I'm going to show you what happens is I'm going to export it. And I'm going to be very limited. Let's put that on the timeline. Sorry about that. We're going to be very limited. If I press export, I'm, I don't have any options here other than MP4. But I want to do something slightly different. I want to have an MP4 360. So let's get back out of that. And let's go back into the media tab. Stay in the media tab. And now if we export it over here, we have this option here, 360. We highlight this. Okay, now. Video Studio cannot take this resolution because I believe this is the 8K resolution and the maximum Video Studio can actually use is 4K for 360 videos. So we must change the resolution to 4K and luckily I have that 38 
for zero. And this will go, this will automatically change the ratio by default. 4K is actually 2160, not 1920, but that's fine. I'm going to stay with this. And now I can export it. Also, keep the bit rate high. You can probably even push it up a little bit higher to 150, maybe like that. The reason is it's going to have a much better output when you render the video out within Corel Video Studio. And then you just press Start Export. And if you've never used uh, 360 video over here, you'll see the progress line. So I would highly recommend before you do any export, trim the video down like I have and only use the pieces that you want and then export that into Corel Video Studio. I hope I didn't ramble, but there you go. If you want to use 360, this is how you go do it. And as always, thanks for watching.